maggots might seem very icky, but when faced with the choice to amputate a limb or to use maggot therapy, what would you choose? I am Carl, the founder and CTO of Coprina. I am also known as the Maggot Man. I first started out working for my family business in the pest control industry. I've got the knowledge required, and if I know how to kill insects, I'll know how to tap on their strengths. And now, I use my knowledge in biotechnology, microbiology, and entomology to fully leverage the potential of Lucilia coprina blowflies, focusing on medical wound care and agriculture. One fly, multiple uses. For many patients dealing with diabetes, autoimmune diseases, or burns, it is necessary to remove the dead flesh around the chronic wounds for healing. Surgeons can use a procedure called debridement to remove the dead tissue. But mastering this procedure takes years of experience. Even experienced surgeons might not be able to differentiate between the healthy and unhealthy tissues on a cellular level. Meanwhile, in the blowfly's larvae stage, maggots can break down necrotic tissue and facilitate the healing process. This is called maggot debridement therapy, and it can clean wounds up to 18 times faster than conventional surgery and with more accuracy. For patients like the elderly and frail who cannot use anesthetics, maggot therapy could be their only solution. Okay, so uh, the medic fly uh, that we supply to hospitals are little small maggots and they, they come in little vials like that with our proprietary transportation media. And you can see that they're little small little echo maggots when they go into the wound. Um, and uh, about 48 to 72 hours later when they come out, they're about this size. And we would put between uh, five and eight uh, maggots per square centimeter of, uh, of wound. Necrotic tissue is food for the maggots. Since maggots don't have teeth, they secrete proteins and enzymes called trypsin and chymotrypsin that break down the tissue and eat them. At the same time, their secretions have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory compounds promoting wound healing. The maggots can also disrupt the formation of bacterial biofilm to prevent infections while also digesting the bacteria. So they are not just eating the necrotizing protein, they also are eating the bacteria that's eating the necrotizing flesh. Alternatively, you can use the baggots, where the maggots are all inside a bag and can be applied to a small area of the wound. This technology is HSA registered Class C medical device and is used in almost all hospitals in Singapore today. At Caprina, we don't just stop at the larvae stage, we also look at other parts of the blowfly's life cycle. Currently, we are researching how to harness the adult blowflies for a completely different use pollination. Most indoor farms can only produce leafy greens, not fruits, and flowers due to the lack of insects in this very controlled environment. Insects are important as they pollinate flowers for many fruits and vegetables and nuts. In fact, flies can be used as natural pollinators, just like bees. We thought, what if we can introduce pollinators like the adult blowflies in an indoor environment and be able to release and recapture them after they have finished pollinating. Insects can react to certain wavelengths of sunlight on a flower. When the flower petals absorb the light, it will release specific colors that only insects can recognize. This is how they know which flowers are ready for pollination. In collaboration with Republic Polytechnic, we are trying to mimic that whole process to understand what lights to turn on and off to release and recapture our pollinating blowflies. If this works, it would be very promising 
as the world's demand for indoor farming and fruits is increasing. In nature, there is no waste, only cycles. I'm not inventing anything new. I'm simply leaning into the existing cycles of these amazing insects. What we're trying to do here is to generate as many products as possible through optimizing each system and then trying to link that system to other things. I'm very excited to see where this can bring us to.